Standing alongside Coach Tom Church, GLVC opener, a 90-78 loss to Lewis University. Coach, up and down game for first half and four minutes of the second half, and Lewis somehow forced its way into a half-court game. Uh, what specifically could you see that uh, took them out of uh, our, our game plan? Well, we were up nine with about... 16 minutes to go and we offensively that's our big thing offensively we got a little stagnant we stopped swinging the ball we wanted to pound and dribble and the turnovers they just ended up killing us you know we turned the ball over our offense helps create our defense when we're not moving the ball and we try to go back to the same side the ball just came from we get stagnant it really really starts to affect us uh, positive things from the first half. You do have a 45-43 uh, lead after the first half. Webster and, and Gillespie, uh, a nice tandem scoring-wise, and they both finished up pretty well. So what are the positives from tonight? Yeah, I mean, we played really well. It's just a tough place to win. Um, you know, we have to we have to avoid those long stretches. I think they had a 10-0 run in the first half, and I think they had a 15-0 run in the second half. I mean, you, you can't expect to win games when you're giving up runs like that. Um, it, we, we have to learn how to weather those storms to where we almost slow down a little bit, we work the ball, and we get a, we get a quality shot. Instead of trying to, to score the first five seconds of the shot clock or whatever it is, um, you know, those are, those are the things that we have to correct and we have to get better at, and we will, uh, but those are, those are the big things that we have to work on. We have to avoid those big, those big runs by the other team. So and when you go to preparation and practice, you know, tomorrow and, and the following week, how do you kind of develop that stopper to kind of stop the, the runs there for you? When it's five, when the game is five on five. When they get back and they set their defense up and it's five on five, and that's when we'll work on swinging, attacking. You can't attack on the first side with the defense. you got to get the ball swung, look to play into out, you know. And the problem is we did that for most of the game tonight, but we have that stretch of about four or five minutes where we don't, you know, and then it affects us on the defensive end. So we'll, we'll have to, those are things that we got to work on. All right, we head up to Parkside after a day's rest. Uh, how, how are you looking for your team to respond up there? Another tough environment to play. Yeah, we're already moved on from this game, and we're talking about, you know, we're talking about Parkside. I mean, these are two tough games to, to, to you know, to start off with. Um, the other thing is, you know, with our rotation, you know, having Devani out right now, you know, is, is hurting us a little bit. Um, you know, so we have to, we have to move forward. Uh, from you know right now because Parkside's a tough place to play you know it's it's extra they're playing well I believe they're five or six and one they're playing well so it's going to be a tough task for us Saturday um, but we have to we have to look at the positives and learn from the negatives today. Coach we appreciate your time good luck on Saturday this is Ken Badlack for the Puma Presser.